Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai. Guess which series we're going to be talking about today? Hello everyone and welcome back to Married with Comics. I'm your host, Laura. Now, before we get into all the goodies of Cobra Kai and the Karate Kid and the comic book, just some quick reminders that this Sunday, December 19th, at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are going to be live. And it's going to be a Christmas collaboration event with You Truck and Nerd, Tony and Cooley, and a special appearance by BJ Kicks. It's going to be a ton of fun, some great games, and we're going to be giving away some absolutely amazing prizes. So please make sure to tune in, and we look forward to seeing you then. Second announcement, of course, is that we are getting closer and closer to that ultimate 1,000 subscriber giveaway, which is going to be a key issue, which is issue number one of Spawn. This is a 9.4 CGC copy, and it is absolutely stunning. And of course, you're going to get your Married with Comics bookmarks. Thank you, Patrick, for donating this. I cannot wait to give it away. But in order to qualify for it, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment on videos not that hard. Now, before we get into the comic book Cobra Kai Johnny story, let me give you a couple disclaimers. I am a huge fan of Cobra Kai and the Karate Kid. I grew up with this movie and definitely was severely influenced by it. I think pretty much everyone in our neighborhood had the crane kick mastered, especially my siblings and I did. I just, I've watched this movie way too many times. So when I heard that Cobra Kai, the TV series on YouTube, was coming out. I was incredibly excited. But my favorite part about it is that because I love the original so much, I, like everyone else, am always a little hesitant when they're doing a remake. However, the TV series Cobra Kai did what I hope every single remake understands that this is what fans want, is we want you to take our original source material and instead of trying to reinvent it, they appreciate the original source material that we all love and they give us a different perspective on it. So then you get that modern storytelling and the tie into the original. So both of them are essential and it now builds into an even better story. It's part of the reason why Cobra Kai season one and season two on YouTube were so popular and why Netflix eventually picked up the series. So I have been a fan of Cobra Kai when it first came out on YouTube, and I definitely got Scott hooked on the series. So we are both huge Cobra Kai fans. When I found out that there was a comic book about Cobra Kai Johnny's story, I was really interested in it because, of course, anything that adds to this amazing story of the original movie with the TV series, I'm definitely intrigued. This came out in 2020, and I will say in all the series that have come out, you know, from IDW or from other independent co publishing companies, no one really talked about this series. The only response I could get from people was, it's good. What does that mean? Does it mean for people who are big fans of Cobra Kai, you're going to love it? Or does it mean if you are a big fan of Cobra Kai, you're not going to enjoy it as much because it's so repetitious from the material that's already included in the movie and TV series? And I needed that answer. So I bought the book, I flew through it, and of course, I am here to talk to you all about it. And you know what? Instead of just doing a traditional review where we go through and we break down, you know, the characters and the themes and the overall impressions of the series. Instead, we are going to do a Cobra Kai twist, where there are going to be three points to the winner, but there are only four issues. And I can tell you very clearly that there is a winner in this series. So we are going to have on this side, the Cobra Kai TV series. And then on this side, we're going to have Cobra Kai the comic. And we're going to find out who is the victor on this particular fight. So round one is issue number one. And in issue number one, we are covering, of course, Johnny as a child, dealing with his jerk of a stepfather, eventually joining Cobra Kai, meeting Allie, breaking up with Allie, and that very first fight between Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso. Now, the comic book does a pretty good job of breaking down these different scenes and showing you sort of the progression of this character, Johnny, as he eventually loses Allie. My challenge was, even though this was well done, the TV series, on the other hand, did a much better job 
of giving us that breakdown, those emotions, the building of those characters, and giving us that different perspective of what it was like to be in Johnny's shoes that I felt that this was just a repetition. So when it comes to the origin of how Johnny met Allie and how Johnny met Daniel, definitely have to give the clear winner to this one, Cobra Kai, the, the TV series. Round two. In issue number two, we of course have the very famous Halloween scene with our amazing skeleton costumes. Next fight with Daniel LaRusso and the introduction of Mr. Miyagi and the eventual tournament challenge between Kreese and Mr. Miyagi. Now, once again, this was a complete repeat of what was actually discussed in the Karate Kid movie. There were very few scenes in this that did not just repeat what we already knew. So if you weren't as big of a fan of the Karate Kid, you may have appreciated the reminders. But overall, I wanted something different. I wanted something new, and it definitely did not give it to me. Whereas Cobra Kai, the TV series, gave me those different perspectives, made me think about each of those different scenes, and made me want to go back to re-watching the, the Karate Kid movie just to see all those extra little moments to then piece it together and appreciate the Cobra Kai TV series along with the original movie. Sadly, comic book didn't do it for me. Round three, which is issue number three. Now, this is where we have the ultimate moment in the movie of Karate Kid where Daniel is trying to pick up Allie for a date. She's at the country club. He tries kind of sneaking in to get her attention. Johnny sees Daniel. Johnny kisses Allie. Daniel sees this. Daniel falls over, ends up completely covered in food, makes an absolute fool of himself, and assumes that Johnny and Allie are now a thing, and now Daniel and Allie, of course, are fighting. In the comic book, you get the rest of that scene. So you have some great interactions between Johnny and the rest of the Cobra Kai gang, and then, of course, you see how he eventually ends up at the country club, the families that, of course, are interacting, and then you have that moment where they dance. And you do have some moments and a little bit of chemistry before he finally kisses her, where it's not just him trying to get back at Daniel, but you do sort of see that little glimmer that maybe she is questioning why she chose Daniel over Johnny. And yes, you do still see Johnny being a jerk and kissing Allie because, well, he can. But you do also see this final panel of Allie upset and you almost get a sense of her regret. So it just set up the next scene in the movie very well and it gave us some great backstory and it did exactly what I was hoping that this comic book would do. So issue number three, clear winner is the comic book. Cobra Kai discussed that scene, but they didn't go into it to the same depth and level. Round four is issue number four. And this is of course where we end up at the tournament. We have, you know, put him in a body bag and sweep the leg and all those famous scenes that we, of course, remember from the movie. The problem is there was nothing else really extra there. There were maybe a couple little glimpses and little teeny tiny moments that they added. But as a whole, they were trying to kind of include the last, what, 20 minutes of the Karate Kid movie, which is really hard to kind of jam pack into one issue of a comic book. Should they have split it into two? Probably. But if they were going to do that, they needed to give us more within the storyline, something unique, some sort of different perspective, which they didn't do. Instead, what they did is just repeat what happens at the end of the movie of Karate Kid. So what the Cobra Kai TV series did, which was really great, is they actually had the additional camera angles from the original Karate Kid movie. So they were constantly showing us different angles of the same scenes that we've seen plenty of times. And you got a sense of, again, a different perspective, a different image of whether it's the crane kick, sweeping the leg, or some of these other key moments in that final scene of the movie. And then, of course, you have Johnny's thoughts and perspective and him, of course, teaching his students what he's learned so many years later from that illegal kick. The clear winner on this one is definitely Cobra Kai the TV series. The only two scenarios that I can think of that you would appreciate this story more than someone like me who is a clear fan 
I would say for those of you who enjoyed the Karate Kid movie but haven't rewatched it in a very, very long time, the refresher would actually be really great. For those of you that like the Cobra Kai TV series but maybe don't have time to go back and rewatch season one and two, then you may absolutely love this comic book and appreciate the way that it's just sort of drawing you back into the storyline and getting you ready for the next season. Overall, in my opinion, this is sort of a time capsule where it only really ties into that original origin story of Johnny. It doesn't add anything extra to the TV series or the movie. And even though that issue number three was really great, it still didn't have enough for this to be the clear winner. Maybe someday they'll do a sequel, but at this point, I'm just excited for season four of Cobra Kai. So the most important questions of all of you who are going to strike for Strike Heart and have no mercy down in the comments is, have you read Cobra Kai the comic book? Have you watched Cobra Kai the TV series? Or did you watch the Karate Kid the movie? Did you enjoy them? Or can you think of other movies or TV series that either was successful and gave that kind of backstory and additional information that I'm looking for? Or that was similar where it was just kind of a retelling of a story that's already in existence. Let me know. I look forward to hearing from you all. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't worry, there are more unboxing videos coming very soon along with more appearances of Scott. I promise. He's still here. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And I will talk to you all again very soon. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.